Let's quickly crush this pre-calc problem, ninjas. I'll start by dividing both sides by four, giving me three fourths x raised to the log of three equals x raised to the log of four. And now the next logical step for me to separate out the x on one side is basically dividing both sides by x raised to the log of three. Now there is a potential pitfall here. Can you leave a comment and tell me what you see? Because we have to be very careful here. We're gonna come back to that, so hold that thought. But for right now, I'm gonna move on. And what I want you to remember is that normally with logs, we tend to think that the base is a number 10. So for instance, the default base for a regular log, or it might be E for natural log, which is the same as log base of E. But here we don't have a known base. We just have X raised to some power. So why don't we just choose X as our log to make things easier? And you're gonna see why I chose that here in a bit and why I put all the X terms on the right-hand side of the equation. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna actually choose X as my base and take log base X of both sides, giving me log base X of 3 fourths on the left, and then log base X of this expression, X raised to the log four over X raised to the log three on the right. And already now it's apparent that we can use a really cool property of logarithms looking at the right-hand side. Do you see it? Okay, remember that the log of A over B is the same as the log of A minus the log of B. And the reason why this is useful here is because now when we split up the right-hand side and we have a difference of terms, the first one being log base X of the previous numerator, which is X raised to the log four minus the log base X of the previous denominator, giving you X raised to the log three. Already now we see another cool trick we can use. The log base x of x raised to some power is simply that some power. The log and the exponent essentially cancel out here. And this is really cool because the right hand side now becomes a lot easier to work with. You now simply have log of four minus log of three. And if you wanna learn more ninja tricks, be sure to smash that subscribe button and like the video if you like what you see here so you can ace your next exam. Moving on. We're going to have log base x of 3 fourths equals log of 4 over 3. And the reason why I, I actually did that here is because I'm now doing the reverse of what we did above. So instead of splitting a log of a fraction, I'm actually doing the reverse of remembering that log of a minus log of b gives you log of a over b. And you're going to see why I'm doing that here just in a bit, because now when I use this idea of exponents and logs and rewrite this expression where x raised to the right hand side, which is log of four over three equals the remaining part of the left, which is three over four. It's easier to work with this now because notice that both sides now have a fraction instead of a difference of terms and the fraction on the left and right look very similar, don't they? Four thirds is the reciprocal of three fourths. So hang on to that idea because we're gonna use yet another awesome logarithmic trick here in a sec. So moving on. We're going to say that X by taking the power of one over log of four over three on both sides will be three fourths raised to one over log of four over three. Now, this is where we get to use that cool reciprocal trick. Log of four over three is the same as taking log of three over four raised to the negative first inside that expression, right? Because three over four is the same as the reciprocal of four over three. Now, remember with logarithms that the log of something where the something on the inside has a power, you can bring that power in front, which means that the new power of this expression, instead of log over four over three on the denominator is actually negative log of three over four. And this is really interesting and cool to work with because when I then make a step further and move that negative to the numerator, what I'm going to do here is yet again, choosing another base of logarithms to use. I notice now that on the right hand side, the base of the power that I'm working with is actually known now. It's no longer X, it's three over four. So why don't I choose that as my base and take the log of both sides with base three over four. And that's going to simplify the right hand side because log base three over four of three over four to something is that something giving us negative one over log of three over four. And the next thing you wanna do is realize that when you have log base A of B on the left, it's the same as log of B over log of A, another logarithmic property. 
So we'll have log of x over log of 3 over 4 equals negative 1 over the log of 3 over 4. And check this out. When you multiply both sides by log over, or I should say log of 3 over 4, you'll find that log of x is negative 1. And solving this, you'll realize that x is 10 to the negative first, or 1 over 10, giving you 0.1. But check this out. Remember, I wanted you to note if there was a possible pit hole here with something I did earlier. Going back up here to where I divided both sides by x raised to the log of 3, notice that for this to be valid, I need to call out that x cannot be 0. But don't forget, we need to check the original equation to see if x is actually a solution. And by going to the original equation just by inspection, plugging in x equals 0, you can see that that's also another root to this equation.